infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Surely grant me access to the basement. as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. These scowls came from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. It's locked, all right. It's locked.
Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting.
Thelma Hap... Harcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main walk was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame. Not death itself. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. A funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, 
wouldn't you say? Yes. But the good news is, we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. Do you need medical attention? I'm feeling all right, doctor. But perhaps it is because I, too, am used to the smell of the dead. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right, but at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. I'm not of my own life. Here again. It's locked, all right. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins.
Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have...